How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can unblock Reddit at school, work, or anywhere else for that matter. And the best way to go about unblocking Reddit is by simply using a virtual private network or a VPN. And a VPN will allow it to connect to servers in a different location, hiding your real location from your network or internet service provider. And by changing your virtual location, you'll be able to access Reddit securely and freely from anywhere, no matter where you are. Now, the main reason Reddit users use a VPN is to be able to access the site from anywhere. When you use a VPN, you can connect to a remote server and appear as though you are there, granting you access to the content. If your local network administrator has put up a block on Reddit, a capable VPN will be able to get around it with no trouble. And any of these VPNs will work just fine. By the way, I just like to use ExpressVPN to demonstrate. I'll go ahead and demonstrate very quickly. Uh, so, of course, these are the best VPNs overall after having tested over a couple of dozen VPNs. I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall for unblocking all kinds of websites and bypassing jurisdictions. They all vary in budgets and features, but they all work just fine no matter which one you choose. So pick one over the other depending on your own situation, what you're looking for out of your VPN and your own budget and preferences, of course. Of course, another benefit to using a VPN is that it will encrypt your data and a premium VPN service, of course, comes with high quality security features to keep your online activity private. So not even your local network administrator can see what you're doing. This will also protect your device from cyber attacks and malware. And specifically talking about the kill switch and split tunneling. And the kill switch will stop your internet traffic if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only gonna be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. And split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed the VPN and which are not. Um, so I'll go ahead and just refresh so that uh, Reddit can now adjust to my location and it will think that I am now in the United States. But of course, it's not banned on my network. I'm at home. But in case it was banned, it will no longer be banned and I'll have access to it. And as you can tell, if you may have noticed, the uh, recommendations right here changed and it recognizes that I'm somewhere else and uh, I'm getting slightly different uh, promotions, such as something that has to do with X Infinity, uh, which is obviously not in my region. Now, pick these three VPNs based on the fact that they all have reliable unblocking abilities. They have a broad network of fast servers, specifically over 3,000 servers in 94 countries with ExpressVPN, over 5,600 servers in 59 countries with NordVPN, and over 3,000 tonal servers in 100 countries with Surfshark. Uh, they also have strong security and privacy features. So the uh, kill switch and split telling features are available in all VPNs, not just ExpressVPN. That's all that ExpressVPN has in terms of features. They're just the necessary security features, whereas NordVPN and Surfshark offer a little bit more. So you'll be able to access Reddit no matter the device you're using. If you're using Windows, Mac OS, iPhone, Android, all these VPNs are compatible with all kinds of devices, even your smart TV. So you should be able to access Reddit everywhere. And obviously, it's not just for unblocking the jurisdictions on Reddit. You'll also be able to unblock all kinds of streaming services. You can secure your device on public Wi-Fi and you can download or torrent safely and anonymously without having to worry about who's watching or who might catch what you're doing online. Everything will be completely encrypted and anonymous. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security features of these VPNs. And of course, they're all covered by 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Otherwise you can simply get yourself the refund if you're not satisfied for whatever reason. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.